Oh yeah, I look clean. No, Linda, it looks really good. So basically, I just got a new lens. Let's have a look at it there. Cause in the Villa Tour, everyone was giving me grief about the zoomed in lens. And I agree, cause I bought a new camera and I used my old lens and it just went very strange, very zoomed in. And I just got this new lens and oh my God, it just makes me want to vlog and I'm like, I'm in this new villa, I finally have moved in. It's actually the right time to just go all in on YouTube. Like literally, that's what I like to do. Like that's like my favorite thing. That's what made my career in the fitness industry is YouTube. So I'm like, maybe I'll just, just go all in on YouTube for the next, for the, till the end of the year and just see what happens. Living room looking amazing. I'll give you guys a proper house tour, maybe in another video, but I gotta go off and meet my friend Joss to train legs. We're actually gonna use the zoomed in lens for that. It looks a little bit more cinematic, but then we're gonna resume the vlog on this. We're also gonna get some groceries as well because the fridge is completely empty. And when the fridge is empty, that means time for a grocery haul. So I'll see you guys in the gym. I'll see you guys in Mercadona. 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 It's the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. It's the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up, yeah This the anthem If you get up and get it, put your hands up, yeah This one for the winners if you with me, yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me, yeah This one for the winners if you with me, yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me, yeah This the anthem If I give you my word, that's what I stand on Loyalty and trust is what I stand on Family and love is what I stand on Talking big, big I knew that one day that I could make it, baby. I'm talking how to stay smoking without a sense. Now we get up and do it like we got a big wig. It's getting serious. I know you're curious. See some losses through the process, set me furious. But I got eyes on the vision, can't get delirious. Fall in love with the game and then you marry it. I think I'm married. It. This the end. Of All right, session done. How you feel? Good. This is, this is the only pints I'll be having. Yeah, that, that's a lie. He's already planning a night in voodoo later. Yeah, we just smashed a leg session. Yeah. Feeling good. We're saying how important it is to link up with a mate, link up with someone else who trains hard and push yourself. I train with Linda most days or on my own. Sometimes that doesn't cut it. You know, sometimes you need someone to force that extra rep. You need someone to stack on that extra weight. Even you need someone to like put your hand out and get that full range of motion. Get that extra inch. You say I give you that extra inch. You do give me that extra <laughs> inch. You do, you do. Especially on the leg extension. Joss, what is your best leg training tip? And also, what is your best tip as a personal trainer who wants to get more clients? Because that's what Joss does. He owns an agency that helps trainers scale their business. So first of all, leg tip. <laughs> best leg tip? Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skipped it three times this week. No, best leg tip. Honestly, what you've just said there, when I do legs, I'm just going through the motions most of the time. Yeah. You're, you're such a big muscle group, right? So if you have someone who's going to be there shouting you, spotting you, you're going to get those extra reps out and you're going to get more growth. Yeah. So get a partner to when you're doing leg day. Yeah, I'm fucked. I, I mean, like, I, I, the only, usually I like training on my own, but when I do train with a partner, it's always leg day and it always helps. Like, I actually, I'll throw in the, the video of me completely failing, right? And it's like, I haven't actually failed on a squad, like, in a year. You need to. And it's, you need to. Like, it's humbling. Say, it's humbling. And how do you know you push yourself? So, epic leg session today. And the second of all, so as someone uh, who's a personal trainer who works in the fitness industry, so what's your tip for someone? You're starting off, um, if you're working on the gym before, obviously you've only got six months in the day. So it's very important to value your time and focus on what's going to grow your business instead of working for it all the time. Yeah. So concentrate on your social media. Use all platforms that are available to you because every platform is a set of eyeballs. And the more followers you have, the more data you have, yeah. the more if you've got a call to action, you can sell to those people. So yeah. when you are posting on these platforms, give it free value, valuable content, build trust between you and your audience and you convert that into sales. Yeah, there you go. That's absolutely perfect. And it's like, you want to give, give, give before you ask for something in return. So it's like before I did any coaching, before I sold any you know, gym wear, before I took any sponsors, I had years of content on YouTube, just putting it out because I love it for the sake of it. Build so, trust. Yeah, build trust, you build authority, you provide value. So it's like a lot of people put the cart before the horse and I ask for a handout before giving anything. So perfectly answered. I'm gonna go home, curl up in the ball, cry for a while, <laughs> and I'll see you later on. See you in a couple of hours for some protein. All right, so we're in Mercadona, about to go in, do a massive haul, and I'm very excited to see what they have in store. It's my favorite time of the week.
Okay, this section here, best in Mercadona. It is like the protein pudding yogurt section. Insane. First grocery haul of Villa Lipset. What a time to be alive. Linda's been kind enough to sort things into sections. So let's get right into it. Let's start with what matters most. Prawns are a very slept on protein source. We always go straight to chicken and beef. These are so flavorsome. You can make so many recipes with these. I know what you're gonna say, Rob, they're too expensive. Get the frozen ones. When you buy anything frozen, including pork as well. The price is just way cheaper and you can store it so it doesn't go off. So prawns, there are can go to for a protein source. So this is a pork villain and usually people associate pork with very high fat, bad macros. And if you're going for something like bacon, that is very much true with the fillet. It is pretty much pure protein, about a gram of fat and 14 grams of protein, depending on the cut, of course, and this is frozen. And again, kind of like the prawns, changing things up from chicken and beef, and it's very rich, very flavorsome. Now, these are very debatable. Some people say, Rob, I don't believe the macros on these, because the macros on them per 100 gram is three fat, two carb, and 13 protein, and they taste really good. People say, oh, you know, this is not accurate. I think they are. Um, even when I was in Ireland, I found like really good turkey chicken sausages. You can get very good ones and very bad ones, so always just check the macros. But these, I have these pretty much every day. I get shredded, so they're legit. This, the Lomo, the ham, again, ultra lean, Spanishy ham, and really flavorsome. I always just crack one of these off and kind of have it as a snack throughout the day. Pretty much pure protein. Next, classic chicken breast, no need to explain there. We got a ton of steak, vacuno. So that is the protein. Next up, something very interesting, and this is squash. This is one of the most voluminous carb sources, starchy carbs that you can get. This and pumpkin are so filling, so large, and if you weigh them out and you look at how many carbs are in the meal on the plate in front of you, it's it's honestly insane. I genuinely got excited over these. Next for a carb source, we got fruit. <laughs> I got that, I got that on the first try. So next for a carb source, we got fruit, we got grapes, lovely snack on, berries, kiwis, red pepper. Is avocado a fruit or a vegetable? There's a debate over that, isn't there? I think it's a fruit. We got some corn over here, and then a series of cheeses. So this is kind of light feta, light mozzarella, and light Havarti, Havarti. And then you have the most decadent series of protein yogurts that you'll ever see in your entire life. So we got mango, vanilla, this thing that I'm gonna try out later, and then mousse, and then just natural. So that is the shop for today. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, put this in the fridge, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so it's the end of the day and we're making one of our favorite recipes, right? We got the oven installed. It's here, but we still just use the air fryer. A lot of people said the air fryer was gonna change our life and they were completely right. If there's any air fryer companies out there that wanna get on the sponsorship of this channel, please hit me up. We have our chicken breast looking amazing. We got some avocado cheese. Linda's already putting on the toppings, the sauce. So I'm gonna go avocado, cheese, a little bit of lettuce, and then we're gonna wrap it up, and then you put it back in the air fryer, and you bake it to make it all crispy, and that's gonna be the end of the day. That's a pretty good day, if you ask me. All right, so the burritos are on cooking, but this is our little setup. Like, how good does that living room look? So we've got the TV turned just over the table, so that's where we eat our meals. No eating on the couch, but just, oh my God, look. And that looks so good. But so we're just gonna crack the burritos out of the air fryer, and then we're gonna sit down and eat dinner. This just, I am just can't believe this is life. All right, so check these out, okay? They've been in for about five, six minutes. Oh my God, oh my God, look how good that looks. So this is what we've been having pretty much every day. I'm like the big burrito. I'm like the big burrito on the right. Linda's like the little smaller one. All right guys, so nice little chilled day in the life, leg day burritos, what more could you want? I'm finishing things up here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it real, I'm out of here, peace.